So now that we've got the CSV reader, uh, as you can imagine, that's for reading files. What if I want to write to a file? And well, we have the CSV writer. And the entire idea is if you think about what the CSV.reader did is it would process each line as a list. And so you've got a nice little square brackets with each element uh, separated uh, by an index. The same kind of concept comes in here with the writer. I can come in here and uh, basically use a command called write row. And if I pass it a list parameter, then it'll write that uh, to the CSV file. So let's go ahead and see this in action. Uh, so I am going to just come in and maybe I wanna store uh, the average Satosa data that I've been printing out. So I'll come in and instead of printing it, I'm going to write it. Uh, the other little bit here is I don't wanna mess with my original data, so I am going to change the file. I'm writing to a new file uh, here. And so then it's just a simple writer equals csv.writer. Now I can actually come in, uh, as you can see from the example uh, that I was working off of, I can tell it something like the delimiter, and why not? Just to uh, show some of the functionality here, I'm gonna come in and I'm going to use the delimiter. And for our sake, why not? I'm going to use the hashtag number sign pound. I'm gonna call it the waffle icon. Uh, you can't stop me from doing that. So anyways, now that I've uh, created my object, all I need to do is I need to write to my rows. So I, again, want to store all of these average uh, data points that I've just calculated into my write row. So in this case, I'll come in, writer dot write row. And as you can just see, there was a write rows where you could have multiple uh, lists. Uh, you can guess how that works. Uh, in that case, I'll go ahead in. I'm just going to add in Satosa as the first entry, just because it's the uh, uh, species that I'm working off of. And then I'll just come in with the sepal length, the sepal width, the petal length, and then the petal width. Now I am starting to bleed over. As you can see, I'm, I'm hitting my nice little line here. And this is just to say, you know, you've gone pretty, you know, long on a single line. Perhaps you should consider uh, revising it. All right, that's fair enough. I'll go ahead and do that. I'll come in right in between, right about the middle. Just nice little inner. It should uh, sort of save itself uh, the same kind of way. Now, if I go ahead and hit run, I don't see any errors. Fantastic, that's beautiful. And if I were to take a look inside of that, uh, that data folder that I've just worked off of, I should have a new calc iris. Now it is going to, you know, a spider will complain about this, but it's perfectly fine. There's nothing uh, wrong with this. And what we should see is, you know, hey, there's the Satosa. There's my waffle icon. Uh, then there's the sepal uh, length, the waffle icon, the sepal width, waffle icon, uh, sepal or petal length, hashtag uh, pedal width. Now, as you can imagine, uh, no, I don't need to change it. As you can imagine, uh, just like we saw with uh, reader, there was a dictionary reader variation. And uh, inside of Python or inside of the CSV module, there is a dictionary writer as well. There is one difference that has to go into working with the uh, writer, however. Uh, in this case, uh, specifically, you want to specify what row or what order you want the elements uh, to appear. Uh, because again, it's a dictionary, so it's, you can't just write them as is. So in this case, all I would need to do is specify my field names uh, or uh, you know calls is what I'm calling them here, but they are known as field names inside of the CSV module. I just specify them beforehand. And then if I want them to appear inside of my, my data, I just use write header. So let's see that in action again. I come in, all right, well, uh, instead of it being a writer, it'd be a dict writer. Now again, I also do have to specify my, my, um, my field names. And so I am going to cheat, because the first thing that we had done when we were dealing with the CSV file was print out the uh, header name. So yes, I am just gonna come in here and cheat. <clears throat> uh, I can do that. It's, my right. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, I'll go ahead and do it inside. That's perfectly fine. Field names. It's also kind of bleeding over. Um, so I will go ahead and just uh, do a nice little enter as well. Um, and so field names equals field names. Now, I can't use the right row as is, and we'll see what I need to do in a second, but I will come in and go with my right header. And just to go ahead and see this, run it and see what happens, I run it, no errors. I go into my uh, calc iris, yes, same kind of thing. Oh, take a look at the order, uh, sepal length, sepal width. So everything's in the order that I just specified inside of my uh, field names. Now I should be able to build a dictionary. And this is, I like to uh, build the dictionary and then do the write. Uh, it kind of helps clean things up a little bit. Uh, so I'll just uh, call this to write uh, in this case. And I'll start with it being a blank dictionary. Um, to start, actually, I, I will go ahead and say uh, that uh, the species species is going to be Satosa. The big thing here is it doesn't need to be in any particular order. So now that I've got uh, a base dictionary uh, built, I will go ahead, I'm actually going to use this as my, my template of boom. Now I'm doing some, you know, just fast copy pasting action here, that's perfectly fine. It, you know, it comes time of practice. Uh, but uh, with this, now I've gone ahead in, and I'm just kind of hitting each one of them sequentially uh, with the single character that I need to work on, that I need to work off of. And finally, I'm able to uh, come in with a quick copy and paste uh, on those variables that we were just working off of. Uh, so oh, there it is, the average sepal length, the average sepal width, the average petal length, and the average petal width. Now again, the same kind of concept that was going on is uh, when I'm working with this, I don't have to have it in a particular order. Let's say for example, I made my petal width the first thing, and then sepal length, the last thing. I specified a particular order that these field names should be appearing in. So just because I put Satosa or species first doesn't mean that it's gonna be written first. It's gonna be written where I told it to be written. And so I save it, I run it, I get no errors. And when I take a look at Calc Iris, It would help if you use the write row uh, function. <laughs> uh, so writer dot write row to write. Always double check your work uh, because you never know when you're gonna do that. Uh, so now, still no errors, hopefully, uh, yep. And then I'll come in, I have accidentally closed out of calc. So yes, I care. Now, the one thing you are noticing is, oh, it's coming in with these, uh, you know, everything's going to be separated by a line. And if I were to run this a second time, you'd actually see that again. So just for that uh, demonstration, if I came in and uh, wrote that same line three times, I run it, you're seeing that it's separating everything by a line. Maybe you don't want that. Well, simply put, we've already started to show how we're giving it uh, different types of parameters. I can actually add in one final one. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna call it uh, new line equals blank. The entire idea here is uh, that the new line uh, is, as of right now, the dictionary is writing uh, that at, as in, uh, or sorry, as is. It's just also making sure that there's a new line character in there. Uh, I don't want that uh, because as you can see, it's putting things in multiple lines or spaced out with multiple lines. Uh, this will say instead, don't do anything. Don't don't put anything at the end of this uh, whatsoever. Take it, run it. Uh, what is it? It's a uh, new line. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick 
Google, you know, uh, to see what that command was. CSV uh, new line. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, it is not new line. It is new line. Oh, derp. Instead of it being here with uh, the, it should be up here. Uh, and that's kind of just as a quick little bit, that's a great example of when you should be Googling is I, I knew that there was a new line. I accidentally had it in the wrong spot. Uh, so I double checked and I found a, a good little tip on, oh, it's for open. Now I take it, I run it, I don't get any errors. I go to Calc Iris, everything's on its own little line.